Hey guys, this is James Heinrich from James Heinrich Graphic Design, and today for lesson one, just wanted to show you something that looks really complicated, but it's actually simple in Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a Batman vs Superman poster, and it won't take very long at all. So what you want to do is open Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS4, and open all your images. So I've got a black wallpaper for my background. I've got a picture of Henry Cavill as Superman. I hope you can all see him. Superman. Cool. From the new one, Batman vs. Superman, of course. And I'm using the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice logo. And I've got a wallpaper of Ben Affleck. So what you want to do is... Um, you can erase the background or because you're going from black to black it really doesn't matter so the first thing you want to do is select Batman and you just want to select them all so you use control A to highlight and then you go control C for copy and then you go to your black wallpaper and go control V cut them out okay clearly he's too big so you want to go control T Transform them, make them smaller, not too small. And remember that um, you need room for the logo, but Ben Affleck is also bigger than Henry Cavill, so you want to make it look like he's taller. So once it's big enough, you just ch click your check mark for size, and there you go. Then you select your Henry Cavill, repeat steps copy paste it's like black wallpaper control v okay well now he's too big you're gonna you know you're gonna learn to use transform a lot make sure you hold down shift shift keeps the picture from um it keeps it from getting distorted while you transform so now that Superman is smaller, you can hit your check mark and you want to put him just inside. There, you want them at both ends because what you want is you want to have the Batman vs. Superman logo in the middle between them. Now, uh, yeah, that's about right. Now you can move them anywhere you want, but right now I'm just moving them to gauge size, and it looks like that one's taller, which is what I want, so I'm just going to put him over there. Always remember to be on the layer that you're moving, and now what you want to do is bring in your Batman vs. Superman logo. I use PNG because it's easier, because then that way you don't have more steps than you need. So, again, you know, like always, repeat, control A, control C, black wallpaper, control V, again, too, way too big. So, use your transform, shift, hold down shift, make it smaller, and, you know, I want to make it a bit smaller, 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 not too small, the logo is important, but so is that. So now that it's nice and transformed, that here is the Batman vs. Superman wallpaper. Looks good. Yeah. And you can make it over top of them a bit. Doesn't matter. So, what you have is four layers. Looks like three. Looks pretty complicated. Took all of. Mm, couple minutes you know but I've been doing this for a long time so that's what you want now and it's all fine what you want to do is go up to layer flatten your image looks great then you go file save as save as Batman versus Superman Wallpaper.
to and go save and that's it you're done took five minutes and, you know like I said looks complicated pretty simple easy stuff 